Hey guys, for today's video blog, we're in West LA with Executive Chef Anthony at the Red O Restaurant, right across the street from the Improv on Melrose. And Chef Anthony's been kind enough last season to do three cooking segments for us. And now it's February 2017. We're back here at his restaurant that he's executive chef at in beautiful West LA here on Melrose. And he's gonna, he's doing today for us some more cooking segments that you'll see coming up in the next few months. But um, before we leave here, I wanted to hit him up for some cooking tips to share with you guys on how to prepare fish. And what's one of the tips you have to share today, Anthony? Well, I, I know you were really surprised about the flavor that we got out of the lime juice and the, the agua chili that we made today. Yeah, that's this dish here he's talking about. This is one of the cooking segments that we did today. It's a ceviche dish. Normally when you think of ceviche, you think of little tiny pieces of fish. And this is different. This is actually like tiny small fillets that he's, I don't know, I wanna call them staked out, but yeah. little fillets and little pieces. Because usually when I think of ceviche, it's like little chunks like this. Little chunks that have been cured already. Well, yeah. So agua chile is a different style. Normally it's cured at the table. Um, as well as the flavor you're getting from the juice that we add. I mean, there's different varieties uh, of ways you can execute flavor into the broth that you cook your, your fish in. Obviously, you want to um, let the citrus juices end up curing your fish. Is basically the point of a ceviche. Mm -hmm. You still want that raw texture, but there's different flavors you can infuse in it, whether it's grapefruit or orange, or in this case, serrano with lime juice. But um, don't be afraid to play with different varieties of citrus fruit in order to get a great flavor. You'll never know what you'll find. Yeah, a lot of people think that you have to use just lemons and limes. No, I mean, you yeah. got grapefruit, you got orange. Yeah, there's different yeah, things I've, you can Yeah, I've play. learned over the years to use orange a lot. It works yeah. out really good. But I've never thought of doing what you did with this dish. And what he's talking about, and something you might want to try at home, there's serrano chili juice in this juice here that he has in here. And what he did, and the way uh, chef explained it to me. So what I did is uh, basically you squeeze out the lime juice and then blend it in with serranos. And then once you do that, uh, you strain it out to leave the broth as clear as possible. And uh, basically you have a really uh, kick-ass, uh, spicy, <laughs> uh, uh, acidic sauce that you add on top of the fish. Right, and this is yellowtail. So you can already see how white the yellowtail is turning. And that's all from the citrus cooking the fish. Remember, ceviche dish is basically raw fish but the only cooking of the actual fish, uh, the meat of the fish, is from the juices. And that's what's cooking it. This has only been here a few minutes and it's already changed colors a lot. Uh, lots of times we tell you to do ceviche dishes to go ahead and throw it in the refrigerator for a few hours and let it change color when you're serving it with chips and stuff. A dish like this is totally different. Yeah, so we wanted to make sure we, we start curing process right at the table. Uh, that's why we pour the juice uh, table side and so you can see the process kind of happen in front of you. Yeah, it's really neat. And when you uh, do this for your friends, you're gonna impress them by pouring the sauce right in front of them so they can actually see the meat change colors. And this is yellowtail. You can do this with halibut, rockfish. I mean, it all works for ceviche, uh, tuna too, but this yellowtail came out really, really good. And you can see how he has onions in here and chilies, and we have some orange chunks in here. It's not only to add flavor to it, but it adds to the presentation with all the different colors. Yes, definitely. And uh, like I said, just come down, check out our different dishes, but different ceviches we have to offer as well. Yeah, and it tastes really good too. Thank you very much. Thanks. So for more information, find them at the Red O Restaurant. You can find them on Yelp, you can find them on Facebook. What's your um, website address? Is uh, it just it's Red just Red O Restaurant on, on Facebook, yeah. Come yeah. check us out. And there's different locations, but you have to come here to Melrose, West LA, try Chef Anthony's food. It's really good. And not only is it a ceviche dish, uh, we did a mac and cheese lobster, which you're going to really like when you see the segment. And I've been here several times to eat before. Lots of great dishes besides just seafood. But the seafood's good. Thank you. And the bar area is so pretty out there. <laughs> yeah. I mean, this is a beautiful location. No, yeah. Hours. I mean, it, I think it's really gorgeous. Uh, it's set up for a great dining experience. Like you said, you came down with your family. Okay. And I'm pretty sure your guests will love it as well. Yeah, and I brought a couple sets of family down, and they've all loved it. And it's, you think of it as like a special occasions place, and it's not. It is for special occasions, but it's just casual enough, and it's not pri so pricey that you couldn't come here, just come for a date or bring your wife out for a quick little dinner. It's really good. They're not open for lunch, dinner only. Yeah. And is it seven days a week or six uh, days a week? Open seven days a week, uh, five to 10 weekdays, and five to 11 on weekends. Cool. Uh, call, we get, we're set up through open table, uh, or just uh, stop on by. Great happy hour from five to seven that you guys will really enjoy. 
And he's got some appetizer plates and uh, what would you call them, like uh, happy hour special too? Yeah. Our, I mean, our, some of those little raw fish things we had last time. Yeah. <laughs> what were those? Uh, oh, those were tostaditas. We yeah. ended up switching over to the uh, wakami uh, tuna tartare. But, I mean, different appetizers you can try. We're open for happy hour from 5 to 7. All right. Thanks, Chef. Uh, thanks for coming down. All right. Thank you guys for watching today's video blog. Look forward to seeing these videos with Chef Anthony. We're over here doing cooking segments. It's a lot of fun today. And you're going to enjoy watching them, too. Thank you for watching. We'll talk to you soon.